We're going to talk about the Bravo lift station now, and we're going to look at a couple of the key options we have available to us. First and foremost, an important feature is the pulleys are positioned significantly away from the weight stack. What that enables us to do is to get a line of force that's in line with gravity. So if you were trying to replicate a squat with a barbell or with dumbbells lower down, the line of force is going to be vertical. The cable is going to be vertical. That's going to give you exact correlation to something else, but lowering the center of gravity. So Paul, if you want to go ahead and grab those cables and we'll do a deadlift. But in this instance, if we're used to a standard deadlift, the cable wants to be moving vertically. So there we have perfect form on a deadlift. Great. So here we're getting key muscles working in a very similar movement pattern and engaging the spinal extensors in this classic and useful deadlift movement. The next option, and here's the challenge, if we tried to pick a weight and try to get into a squat position from there with the cables low down, let's have a go at that and see what happens. I'll do a more of a squat weight. Nice. So here's the challenge. Now what happens is we've got to arm curl and involve the shoulders to get the weight up into that position. Now, with a hev an even heavier load, which we know Paul could do with those big muscular legs, then what we'd have is a real challenge getting into that position. Instead, on the lift station, what we have as a unique feature is we have the ability to adjust the start position. So now when Paul goes ahead and tries that squat, the cables have light resistance all the way up to the shoulders and now and only now the weight kicks in. So we're actually going now through a partial range squat. We could even go a little bit deeper by adjusting it further down at the beginning. So let's try just a little lower down. There we go. So now we get into a nice safe start position before the load kicks in and we can get a full range squat. Looks great. Yep, the cable's still moving vertically, so we're getting a similar training effect to it if there was a barbell up on the shoulders. Good, because now Paul's breathing a little harder, we'll dive straight into a couple squat presses. Again, an adaptation. So what we're gonna do is a squat and an overhead press in one, a classic power trike movement. So we've still got the range of motion available to us on the Bravo lift station. We still have that range available. Perfect, you can relax. Great. One of the things you may also notice is the cables automatically tidy away. So they're not going to be on the floor to be stood on or tripped over as you use this movement, irrespective of where we've positioned this handle. So it's a neat, tidy unit that allows you to effectively deadlift, squat and squat press and lunge as well in this single unit.